Yeah. And I said to myself, cool. you know, if not now, then when? So I up and decided to move to Los Angeles, California to pursue my dream. Tomorrow is um, the day I cash in my one-way ticket. <laughs> and I am... <laughs> and I'm, I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. I said, peace, deuces to absolutely everybody. I'm so emotional. I don't even know if people still say deuces, but... <laughs> on where we sip tea and we talk about different topics so mm -hmm. i'm here with my very good friend a sister almost yeah tempest henderson hi oh. hi guys uh, my name is tempest uh like jasmine said uh, we literally almost grew up together mm -hmm. i think i was like 10 and she was like five playing with my little sister so um she's definitely like family and i'm so honored to be here and so today we're going to talk about um chasing your dreams chasing your passions following your dreams mm -hmm. and this is the perfect topic to talk about with you because tomorrow's a very big day for you sis yes you want to share with the world i i would <laughs> i would like to following your dreams and your passion i think that's extremely important especially as we get older a lot of us are born with the dream born with the gift we all know what it is some of us don't but the ones that are um, blessed enough to actually know what their dream is right off the bat it's important not to give up on it yeah. so I've been acting since I was literally in third grade um, it was something that I've always done uh, it's so weird because I've done it and I liked it but like I was just doing it just to do it I didn't yeah. really know why and so later on I started getting older and I'm like yo I really like you know acting so I'm 28 years old I have this well, I had a wonderful career um, made a lot of money yes. and, and when I say like I was set the next step in my life would have literally been to get married have kids and being the rest is history yeah and I said to myself cool. you know if not now then when so I up and decided to move to Los Angeles California to pursue my dream tomorrow is um, the day I cash in my one-way ticket, and I am. <laughs> and I'm, I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. I say peace, deuces to absolutely everybody. I'm so emotional. I don't even know if people still say deuces, but I want to firstly start this off by saying that with a little statistic, which is that over 70% of people right now don't like what they're doing or they don't have a passion about their jobs, which I feel like is so sad. It's so sad. Right? It's so sad. And I was actually one of them. I was in sales for like the last 15 years of my life, I would say, 10 to 15 years. And I'm super good at it. I mean, it's something like uh, anyone who's in sales knows once you're in sales and you're good at it, you're just going to remain like, yeah. in sales. Like, for yeah. Life. I wasn't happy at all. At my job, I encountered anxiety, uh, depression. I would come home to this beautiful condo in Fort Lauderdale Beach that I completely pimped out. It was like a bachelorette pad. And I'm thinking all these materialistic things will make me happy. Um, I went through my purse phase, buying all these handbags. I went through my diamond phase, buying all these diamonds. Right. I went through uh, extension phases, yeah. any phase. I, I, I tried to, to fill, fill that, that void. void. Yeah. yeah, and I think a lot of people do that. Uh -huh. they, they know that something's missing. Yeah. They, they don't necessarily know what it is. So. Yeah, um, I have to just up and leave because yeah. I wasn't happy, and so many people aren't happy. Yeah, so, like definitely. I think America teaches you that like you have to fill it with like something material or yeah. with that person, and it's like if your soul isn't being fulfilled in what you're doing, you're always gonna feel like. No, it's so true. Yeah. Speaking of people, mm -hmm. I went on Tinder and <sighs> my door was revolving, um, <laughs> and <laughs> like yeah. I was trying Relatable. to fill that void and. Yeah. That obviously didn't help. So, no so no. I'm just out there. Also, I'm saying shit. Dream. But so I have some questions for both of us to answer because I relate to this as well. Yeah, so. I, I think we're too creative. I know. Yeah, it's we're too, just different. Too, yeah, like it's just. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> do you remember the defining moment where you decided like I'm gonna do it? Um, I don't know how many people can relate to this, but I knew I wasn't happy, mm -hmm. and I prayed. I said, God, I'm not happy. You know, please let me know. I know I want to be an actress. Let me know when the right time is. And I prayed about it. I continued to work. And one day I woke up and I was crying. I was like, now, it's now or never. 
Like it's just now or never. I, I'm 28, it's just now or never. So I just got up and did it. Uh -huh. So I think it's important that whenever we have that gut feeling, to that, we, that yeah. we follow it. Your intuition is something it. serious. Yeah. yeah. So yours was a, like a really, like it's a bang moment for you. Right. Yeah, I feel like mine was more like, as I gradually grew, like in my spirituality and in my own like physical and mental health is when I really realized like, I need to follow my soul's passion. Yeah, and yeah. you know what else? I'm, I'm gonna add something else to that. Add it, honey. Because that whole cliche, oh, it's gonna happen when you're ready, or you know, just focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. People always told me that, and I'm like, yeah, right. What does that really mean? Mm -hmm. Right. But that is so important. Yeah. I think when I cut everyone off, like I can literally show you my phone. I just cut guys off, like cold turkey, yeah. because I literally was soul searching and I wanted right. to focus on myself yeah. and that's when the answer came. Absolutely. Things really aligned when like yeah. you are your own focus. Yeah. What was the biggest obstacle you faced when deciding that you wanted to chase your dream? Now this is like so contradicting because so I'm talking in the spirit, but we all have flesh too. And my apartment, it's so like, I love my family, but they can always visit. Yeah. My apartment, cause that was my first apartment. And she I was really, a beaut. I loved her. I love my apartment. And as Did people you started like, no, I didn't. People started like, oh my God, I want, I want your mirror. I want this. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, like yeah, that's mine. That's you know what I'm saying? And Damn, so I had to let mirror? all my stuff go. Yeah. Everything is gone. <laughs> Who was it? Brene. I'm glad it's in Fort Lauderdale still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to like find an excuse. Like my mom told me my couch went to some lady who like didn't even like it like that. And I'm like, I, I have to <laughs> love that couch. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But it's it's important lesson in letting go. It, it's yeah. your comfort right. zone. I think for me it was really mental. Like my own obstacle was like my own self doubt. Like mm -hmm. I would be in points where I was so high and I was like, I can do this, like anything that I want, as long as I trust mm -hmm. God and I work, I'll get it. And then I have points where I'm like, this could easily just not happen for me. It mm -hmm. seems to be happening for everybody else. So it was like sort of finding the balance between like trusting myself and trusting the universe. Yeah. Like, what helps you get out of like slums like that, like doubting yourself? <clears throat> so I know this is real crazy, but I've made videos of myself. Love that. Mood. And I would look back, like from when I first made a decision on moving to LA, mm -hmm. from when I um, quit my job, I made videos and I realized- Like talking to yourself? Talking to myself. And I look back at the videos and it's just like a constant reminder, like, yo, if I can get through this, look how I was feeling. I'm not even feeling yeah. that way anymore. Feelings yeah. are temporary, Uh huh. you know? So, so like documenting your growth. Yeah. Documenting my growth. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, I feel like, <clears throat> you know, we don't even realize how much we've grown mm -hmm. or how many obstacles we've actually, you know, conquered. Mm -hmm. So it's important to to be mindful yeah. and say like, yo, if I can conquer this battle, yeah. I can do the next battle, yeah. and, you know, whatever comes yeah. now in the future. So I think that's important. <laughs> we have a special guest. Take a look this is my okay. son, DJ. <laughs> this he is was so just in the room with the babysitter. <laughs> I would also be, I think, um, journaling, but I guess that's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. Um, which is worse? I love this question. Outside pressure or internal pressure? Like the pressure oh you put goodness. yourself or the pressure to impress everybody around you? That's a really good question. Both. Mm -hmm. But um, I actually think it's more important to stay true to yourself yeah. because you can't please everybody. Yeah. And so as 100%. long as you know you're doing your best and, um, and you'll never be happy if all you're trying to do is please is please other people. Yeah. So you really have to be content within yourself. And then when people start seeing like, oh snap, like she's confident, she's mm -hmm. happy, she's you know proud yeah. of her work or whatever the case is, then that's when you know people start um, what do you call it gravitating. Yeah. To you. And I think you you know what's so funny? I often think about Cardi B too. Mm. Because if Cardi B was making all these videos, up, yeah, like literally look at her. Yeah. If she was making, not necessarily she's not like the best example, right, but right. I mean, she really is uh -huh. because she was herself the entire time. Yeah. Um, ma making all these crazy videos. Yeah. And then the world started loving her. Yeah. She didn't try to go fit into no. cookie cutter. She you was know? 100 she didn't authentically look herself. Exactly. Yeah. And that's and what I realized. Been. People like original. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, stay yeah. true to yourself. Don't worry about what the yeah. outsiders say. Because if you're literally trying to think, of, oh my God, do you like me? Do you like me? That's gonna drive you nuts. Yeah. 100%. Like as long as you love yourself uh -huh. and you got yourself, you know, mm -hmm. you're back. It always I goes mean, back to that. Yeah. That's all that really matters. Yeah. And also, I would say that. 
A lot of the times you think that everybody is looking at you or that everybody is like sort of like charting your progress when in reality everyone's just worried about themselves. It's so like, true. You think that more eyes are on you than they really are. Here you go. Thanks for the visit. Love that. What is advice that you have for anybody, any girl, any man too, I guess, who is yeah. watching this and is sort of struggling with like deciding if they want to like, you know, pursue like, their yeah, life. pursue their dreams or if they want to like just do what is convenient. Um, I say go for it. Mm -hmm. If not now, then when. Um, a lot of times, uh, it's important to have. I'm not gonna say to have a, a plan, but it's always kind of good to have a plan. Yeah. So for me, if I wasn't really financially set, I probably would have like stayed back a little bit, right. saved some money right. before I hit the streets of like LA. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So just yeah. make sure you have a plan. Um, focus on it. Whatever it is that you want to do, do not like. If you have that burning desire, that burning feeling, that voice in your head that keeps waking you up, telling you this is what you need to do. That's your purpose. Yeah. That's your dream. Mm -hmm. Recognize listen it. Listen to that. Yeah. yeah listen to it. A lot yeah. of people ignore it and they start thinking, I can't do it. I can't do it. Or how am I going to do it? How am I going to get started? When I tell you, I have no idea how it's going to get started. Yeah. Technically, I'm You're not so even cool. really started yet. Right. But I mean, at the same, oh, I am kind of started. But like, you are starting. Yeah, I'm starting. <laughs> and I think I also want to add finding like the balance between having like, your goals and your plans but also trusting the universe yeah because I think if you have too much control over a situation you're not allowing certain opportunities or experiences that are opening up right in front of you to happen and then at the same token if you're just oh I'll let the universe handle it and you're not doing anything to actively pursue your dreams or do it it's, you're gonna be stuck it's you know? definitely uh both yeah so finding faith, the balance right faith yeah. without works is dead exactly literally. but so, then also you know like doing too much and not just trusting right not, you know? i think the most important thing is trusting and yeah. something that we also touched on is just to be authentic and be yourself mm -hmm. like be original you're not gonna get anywhere if you're trying to be anybody else mm -hmm. if you're trying to please anybody else nope uh, any last sentiments on the subject? Uh, I think I talked a lot. Yeah, but you know what? We talked the truth. We, we do. We do. Um, so plug whatever it is you need to plug. Like your podcast will be up. At some oh point. yes, yeah. my podcast. I, I have a podcast. Um, <laughs> Um, you sound so passionate about it. <laughs> it's, wow. So my podcast is actually going to be about following your dream um, down to relationships and goals. So I will plug that um, once I get the first episode. <laughs> so follow her on Instagram then, I guess would be. Follow her on Instagram. And it'll be there, right? That's yes. what we're going to use? Okay. I plan on like, changing my Instagram because I don't really post a lot. But once okay. I move to California, I want everyone to follow my journey. I think that would be awesome. <laughs> I would um, follow it. Yes. Sure, yeah. yeah, because I can't like text everyone, you know, like just follow, <laughs> follow me. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be totally honest because yeah. this is raw material, guys. Uh -huh. Like I'm literally Because this isn't, up. following your passions isn't all like easy, you know what no, I'm saying? No, like, I want you guys to definitely really see like what I what I'm going through yeah. you know there's gonna be good days bad days um, either way my Instagram is temp <laughs> to trill yes and it's temp t-e-m-p two t-o-o -O, trill I'm gonna put it on the t-r-i-l-l -L. the bottom they're gonna see it okay <laughs> temp to trill because temp for tempest like temp two because I'm like two as in very trill trill is too real Wait, I didn't know that. Yeah. This trill. whole time? Yeah, trill is too real. Love that. Too trill. That's why I had to explain to the people. True. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. That's amazing, and I hope you guys got something out of that. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, and I hope you guys are chasing your dreams. Yeah. Follow them. Like and subscribe. Bye. He's so much better. Jazz got here, and <gasps> um, is that Carol? Jasmine. Gave him some milk. Mom, he's so much better. And like, he's not as warm as he was before.